In the last few days, we've done a little bit of extra work in our Apple beehives and thought it would be a good opportunity just to kind of give you information about uh, what an Apple hive is and uh, how they work and, and why we think they're beneficial. So here we go. First of all, we're just going to take, talk a little bit about the Apame. If you've not seen the Apame hives before, they're pretty amazing. They're uh, plastic, of course. It's a food grade plastic that will not degrade, will harm the bees. It has several different places you can vent them. We don't ever use these vents. We just use the vent on the front and let the bees manage it. We have a medium super here. These are two deeps, so we've got seven frames over seven. And then we have the medium super here, which uh, we didn't get on in time for them to put much honey in, but they did. Uh, last time I looked at it, at least, they, they had built out a lot of the of the the uh, comb on them, which is good. So one of the things that we that's great about these apomes, you can see on the side here, they have clamps that clamp the whole thing together, so it's one piece. So you, uh, it's much easier to to deal with as far as. Uh, keeping things together, you don't have to strap them as much. Now, once you get into the inner cover, you've got, on this one particular one, you have two different feeders. Uh, I'll open this up, and I'm sure there's gonna be some bees in there. They propolize everything. This is one of the things that's kind of interesting. I'll take, I'll show you when we take this off. People say, well, bees need multiple entrances. Uh, well, they don't, they don't want them. So this is a feeder, and we can put liquid feed up in here on both sides. And then here's actually a bee that's inside, she'll get out. So we put liquid in here, and then the, the uh, bees will, will be able to get to the liquid without uh, harming themselves, without drowning in other words. And uh, we can go from there. Let me see what we got here. Make sure I've got it where we can, yeah. So basically you take, the, there's two different options. There's a, there is a solid option and a liquid option. So we're gonna set it up for winter, or for liquid, by moving it this way. And one of the things I said about uh, entrances, the apomes come with, with uh, these entrance sections all around the outside on, the, on the each end. And notice, the bees have propolized it. That means they don't want that venting, which is kind of interesting. So here we go, we'll take this on. And I'm gonna, we, we will probably put some uh, uh, mite treatments on, on, these, on this hive. Uh, it, it, we have not treated it yet, but it was in good shape when we tested it. So, the thing we're gonna do, again, is we're going to take this top box off, but, but, but we'll take, the, take a look at the frames and put the frames over in this hive butler, which is a neat little tool to have as well. And what we do with with, uh, with with a resource hive is, say for instance, if you have, lose a queen and you need to allow the bees to create a new queen, you'll go into a resource box and pull a frame or two that has very young larvae. So they they literally are a resource. If you need, if you have a, a hive that needs uh, honey frames because they're they're down low and you don't want to feed them for whatever reason, you can also pull a frame up, up, out of that sort of situation. So, okay. Again, there's a little bit of drawn comb, but not much. From our experience with, with nukes, and especially the apomes, um, they don't, sorry, let me concentrate here on two multiple things. Uh, they don't require as much um, food storage over the winter. And the seven over seven, or, or a 505, which, whichever kind of nuke that you want to use, uh, will allow them to have plenty of, of frames for brood as well as plenty of frames for, for honey. And one of the reasons why we want to winterize this and get uh, all, you know, this medium super off is because you, the bees will have to manage whatever volume of space that you give them. And if you leave them a lot of unopened space, then it makes it very difficult on them to be able to manage and keep it warm. So critical because in the winter time the bees will keep the cluster around the bees around the queen at around 90 degrees even if it might be 90 95 degrees even if it's 
10 degrees below zero outside. They're pretty amazing creatures, as, as we like to often say. Let's separate this. And then we'll put this in storage. And we'll, okay, so what we'll do is we'll put the, the feeders back on. And then we'll come out and check this hive a little bit later and probably maybe, maybe put some uh, Formic Pro in it. top will fit right on. Put this out of the way. And then now they'll, what they will do is they'll fill up any of the frames in here that don't have honey in them because we do have a little bit of a nectar flow going. So, this is a great thing about Apame. They use less resources. They're easy to take care of. The bees stay warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. So if you haven't looked at Apame's, you ought to do so. I really love them. So, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.